Five down, just one to go. Let's crush it. See if we can cross Jester off the list. With his fancy dancy deck building. Mm -hmm. And round out the reunion tour. Definitely the episode we had the most trouble with. We already perished three times on this. The Jester has a deck of cards from which he draws... From which they draw two initially per turn. But have an inf has a one infinitely reusable dice. So, limited in number of equipment slots, but not limited in terms of dice. Definitely a different play for, uh, for Dicey Dungeons. Soundtrack for this was done by the very talented Chipsol. Which has some very amazing tunes. It's a spicy meteor. Too much with the shock, though. So, with only one dice and limited number of equipment slots, then the requirements of those equipments becomes a bit interesting. If you need an odd or an even or what have you, there's no guarantee that your one dice can do what you need it to do. Because if you you're odd, then you don't. Slash. We add it to the deck. So, like, retrain my brain that my equipment is now going to stay the same during the fight. I don't know if it will or won't, so I'm just gonna not. I get to keep the card in my hand for next turn. There's a retain aspect. Wait, what? Is that not true? Not sure. Okay. Retain is not a thing. Got it. I could have sworn it was. Hmm. Duly noted. I think that might have been what was going wrong for me before then. If I was assuming that uh, my cards were retaining and they weren't, I was definitely missing out on cards. We get an extra card, one more draw per turn, which is going to make things feel a bit better for us. And we can upgrade one of these. As longs become mana spenders, which is interesting. We did find ways to gain mana eventually. Or we can make the Jarring Jolts. Uh, now that I know how many card deletions are, there are, I'm probably just going to remove the Jarring Jolts entirely. Go with an upgraded slonk. We have a bit of uh, control over sixes once we get a, a way to gain mana, which will be soon. Maybe. Four is good enough for me. When does then become now? Soon. Not soon enough.
Uh, probably want to go here. We got killed by this Dryad before with that nasty four poison per turn. Adds up quick. So you have to have decent damage output or she'll take you down. Let's just reconfirm how the way how draw works. I should get a new card. Yes, I do. So you can have more than four cards kind of in your hand, essentially. If you overdraw, you don't lose cards. Very good. Upgrade or destroyer? Draws are pretty precious. I'm going to take a destroy here. I'm going to get rid of one of our jarring jolts. I don't like them. Bag of Swords. Add a short sword to your hand each turn. Or there's Jazra's Pendant getting us the mana that we want. We do want. And if I can also buy a Throwing Axe, I'll take that, because we're going to be able to generate sixes. So that lets us do pretty good damage. And this is another way to get sixes. Tactical Boop! Which we will be taking. Countdown items are a little weird here. Since the Jester has infinite dice, you just get to activate them whenever you want. And use them as a way to reroll your dice if you want to. Ouch. Shocked and weakened? I don't think I'm gonna bother be very honest with you. Turn of six. Draw a card. Draw a card. Good enough. we'd be able to finish them. Pancake Flipper. Flip a dice upside down and draw a card. I like dice manipulation help us get our sixes if we want. And yes, I wanted a second throwing axe so that we can use sixes. Five XP to level. We'll fight the vacuum and the stereo head, I imagine. Fair enough. Should have taken the two that I was offered. That's right, you can't retain those. Goody says, how long is a run in this game if you win? Less than an hour, generally. Dicey Dungeons is very short. Five floors of a dungeon, then one boss fight. Never really overstays its welcome. Not an odd.
Slash actually maybe not as useful as I thought originally. Fair enough. we don't have a lot of health left. It's a little bit worrisome as we do need to win another fight to level up. Card destruction for sale. Definitely a good thing. I'm going to spend our meager one gold on getting rid of this fairly stinky jarring jolt. And we're going to take the heal before we fight the stereo head. Hopefully not perishing here. Thankfully we have our draw three, so we'll use that right away. Try not to perish. Two, three, draw a card. Perfect. Now we want a six. Perfect. Pendant gives us two mana immediately. So I can make this return a six here. Draw a card. Flip that to a six. Use the throwing axe. Look at that damage output. Glorious. Boop. That's long, more accurately. And I guess I'm gonna keep destroying. I'm now curious what the... I can uh, back out. What's the upgrade on this thing? Starts in your hand. Hmm. Innate. That's a keyword, essentially. It's a tactical boop upgrade. On even draw card. That's actually quite a bit more useful. But I wanted to upgrade another Zlonk, actually. No, no, let's go with a Zlonk upgrade. Get me more six. Why isn't skipping rope awful? It, it lets you, because you have infinite dice and it says draw one, so it, it just lets you cycle sometimes. It is possible to get stuck with it in your hand, which is annoying, but it's it doesn't necessarily consume one of your draws like a bad damage card does. So, mana, maybe. Rapid fire, draw a card. Next equipment gets plus one use, yes. Definitely want that. Do some fun stuff with that. No problem. Take the four. I know better than the question. Slash, though. Hmm. Perfect. Make that a six. Throw an axe. You draw a card. I guess that's just gonna 
be reusable then. Good enough. Yeah, half the time it's a wound, half the time... Well, not even half the time. Definitely less than half the time, because you get to roll multiple dice per turn. So, like, maybe 80% of the time, it effectively doesn't take up a deck slot. And the other 20% of the time, it's a curse, versus a card that is a curse 100% of the time. When questioning what to remove. Here's where the chili pepper frozen yogurt was. I'm going to instead buy some removes. Keep purchasing the purges. At least Slash does damage. Do I take out the third's Lonk? Yes. Yes, I do. All right, snowman. There's snow chance you're gonna win this. This is really want rapid fire. Uh, yes, I do. Plus one use is the same thing as an extra draw. Too bad. I don't think freeze is too bad for the jester either. Especially with the pendant, right? It just turned it into a different number. I made a mistake by not using the one that I had, though. What does mana do? It's a resource we can use on cards to do stuff. Uh, in this case, we can spend it to kind of manipulate the cards we get a lot of the time. I think we've got draw three here. We'll, uh, we'll do it this way. Flip the pancake. Ooh, actually, no. Flip. Reuse the slash. Excellent. Okay, not too bad. Hopefully we don't die. No, we're good. We have to do eight damage on this turn, though, or, or else. Or else. That flip one to a six, throwing X does six. I'll get a new dice and I'll have two cards. Or I could try to use the slash first with the one that we have. But then I have no way to guarantee a six. Let's do the flip. Good. Two, even better. All right, we live. Definitely was a series of dices that we could have got there that would have spelled disaster. It's great to see you again. I've been getting into ice sculpture lately. You know, come back and see me if you want to model. And we win. Heck yeah. No deal. He'd be making an ice cube. Yes, of course. <laughs> That's good. Ooh, Flying Skull lets us inflict Curse. That seems pretty good. I don't see why I would want base drop necessarily, but eh, weakening the enemy can be a pretty good thing. And actually, the Jester I don't think cares that much. 
Defend seems good, but for three gold, it's a bit much. Let's take the Curse Infliction. Slash has already been awkward enough. I'm going to ignore the second one. And I have to beat both of these with my current health pool, huh? Hmm, that seems really unlikely, actually. I think we're going to have a bad time. I do get four mana per turn now, I suppose. Does Curse hate me or something? Hmm, I'm only gonna be able to return sixes, so the skipping rope actually is pretty bad now if I've got these. Hmm. Curse get, huh? Perfect. That reusable. Double cursed. All right, there we go. Actually, not bad. We've got 13 health left for Crystallina. We might just make it. Sloop. It's like a boop. Inflict two poison. I'm going to ignore that. It's only two damage immediately. One more damage on the next turn unless you're able to stack poison. I don't think that'll work very well for us. Silvardo, where does the Crystallina like to go on vacation? a couple good answers you can give to this one, but good old Jasper in my homeland of Alberta is going to be my chosen response. Might I check the other chest first? I think we already looked in there, didn't we not? And decided to refuse its contents. That's right, he was with the other slash. He chose to say no to. Give me mana! <laughs> Not helpful. DT time, enjoy. Faley, have a great one. You farewell and enjoy. Yes, do the thing. Have to use the first odd on the rope here. Good. Make a five. This matters. Okay. Good luck to us. That poison's gonna kill us pretty quick here. Oh dear. The bear crystal. We better win this real quick. Problem is our limit break's not available. I think we might be dead next turn. I probably need to rapid fire the slash. 
No, I, I mean, did not do that correctly. Slash then rapid fire. Either way, not gonna be good enough. Actually, wait, we live? Oh no, we don't live. We get mauled to death. The Chester is defeated yet again. Hmm. Hmm. Having a hard time with this episode. All right, we're going to keep trying at it, though. I want to clear all these episodes tonight, but I do need a really quick break before we try once more. Shorter break this time, just a couple quick minutes here, and then I'll be back for more. BRB.